Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tisha and I am an illustrator who loves to create content around art. In this video, I am in Ulu Deniz, a small Mediterranean town in Turkey. Today is a little bit of a gloomy day both for the weather and inside my mind. I just learned that I did not make it to the shortlist of an art award that I was hoping for, so I was feeling slightly down. But because life goes on, I didn't want this little setback to affect my self-esteem and discourage me from creating and being proud of myself. So I came to the beach hoping to lift my spirits a bit by breathing some fresh air and immerse myself in the painting process. I once read a question somewhere that made me think a lot about my own fear and failure. When you fall, do you get back up right away? I remember being a clumsy, unconfident teenager. Not that I'm incredibly confident today, but I have definitely improved a lot compared to the past. In the past, any setback I faced would only reinforce my negative bias and simply discourage me from trying again. But today, I finally understood that setbacks are just feedback. And this is why I wanted to deal with my disappointment from painting by painting to make sure that my subconscious remember that this is a natural part of the process of growing. I'm starting by roughly tracing the scene I'm picturing. The camera does not render the drawing very well because I used an H5 pencil, but what I'm picturing is basically a woman sitting on the beach with some Mediterranean flowers I've seen around the area on the foreground and the sea and mountains on the background. There is certainly a balance to be found in navigating the ups and downs of life. If we push ourselves too harsh and never give ourselves time to deal with our emotions, it can lead to burnout. On the other hand, if we don't push ourselves at all, it can result in a lack of confidence that will make life even more challenging and stressful. Now I'm laying some background colors first, using a grayish beige as the base for the flowers and pastel turquoise for the water and the sky. I want to make sure that those two elements contrast well with each other. When dealing with negative feelings, I want to make sure that I won't develop new maladaptive behaviors or habits that I'll have to address later either because dealing with the ones I currently have is already challenging enough. Still, the best remedies I have found for coping with failure are acceptance, focus and gratefulness. Yes, it is true that I wasn't shortlisted. My entry failed. I completely accept that. I acknowledge that I may have failed this time but this is not permanent, I will not fail forever. I can learn from this setback, grow from it, and make as many attempts as I need to grow. Every person I know or admire who has achieved a certain level of success has faced failure at some point, without exception. This means that experiencing failure is a part of life and most likely we will go through it multiple times in the entire course of our lives. Now I'm painting the sea using a cobalt blue that I toned down with a bit of white and grey. Then to create the wave's texture, I do it by vertically stamping my flat brush on the paper. As I immerse myself in the painting, my mind gradually shifts its attention to what is right in front of me. The initial disappointment begins to really give way to a sense of peace and flow. Even the weather is obviously agreeing with me, look at the light gradually changing. 
It's time to paint some details. I'm starting with the woman on the beach first and I choose to paint her in bright coral because we're at the beach. It might sound cheesy or a bit naive, but being able to find gratitude no matter what we are going through is really important because it gives us the strength and motivation to keep moving forward without hurting ourselves or others. In moments like this, when I'm disappointed by a small setback, it helps to remember that there are so many things in life to be grateful for. For the plants, because it's Mediterranean, I'm painting some cactus and these flowers that I don't know the name. Oh, and of course, palm tree. We are at the beach. We need to have palm trees. I randomly use different shades of green, mixing between cool green and warm green, then light green and dark green, then medium green, then khaki, then lemon green, sage green. I just want to spice things up and give some playful touches to the illustration. To maintain harmony between all the elements, when creating new shades, I simply add a touch of the previously used shades to the new one. This makes sure that I'm connecting the whole illustration together. It's funny how things are working out now. I feel like I chose the perfect day to experience failure and sadness. The morning started off really gloomy with a bit of rain, but now look at the stunning sunset. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can you believe I didn't plan it this way? I'm genuinely happy that I didn't allow myself to fall into a negative spiral and instead face my emotions head on. I'm using pink and coral shades to paint the flowers to make the foreground of plants stand out more. I want the painting to look really bright and colorful and lush because that makes me happy and I truly needed this. And now I'm going to peacefully and silently enjoy the sunset while painting the final touches. So I hope you're still with me to enjoy the sound of the nature. And this is the final result. The colors are so bright, I truly love it. At this specific moment, I'm really glad that I came out and didn't drown myself in sorrow. It feels reassuring to have a concrete proof that I can keep painting despite some setbacks, despite occasional failures. If you've been having a rough day, I hope this video helped you feel a little better about yourself, your worth, and your journey as a whole. If you also want to try painting at the beach but you're not sure where to start, I've put together some of my favorite composition templates to help you get started with painting at the beach or the lake or maybe some source of watery pond near you. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing if you want some more uplifting content in the future. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care and bye!